Welcome to the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. My name is Elder Hazel Dixon, and today I would like to tell you tales of the turtle. Now, a long time ago, the turtle did not have a shell on his body. He was just this tiny little green creature like this here, and he was always hiding. He would hide behind bushes and trees and rocks, and sometimes he would hide in a cave, and all you would see are his little tiny yellow eyes looking out at you just like that. He was always hiding because everything wanted to eat him. Bears, wolves, badgers, foxes, everything wanted to eat him. Now one day, Nana Bush was paddling along in his canoe. Nana Bush is a trickster. Now, he can change into anything he wants. He can be a bear, he can be a tree, he can be a little tiny mouse, he can be anything. And sometimes he likes to help people and animals, and also he likes to play tricks on people and animals. So he's paddling along this canoe, and he, his tummy started to rumble and grumble. He thought, oh, I'm just so hungry. He hadn't eaten all day. He didn't eat the day before. And in those days, if you wanted to eat, you had to go hunting or fishing or gathering because there were no stores. So he took out his fishing line, which was a long piece of sinew that comes from animals. And on the end was a bone hook. And he put it over the side of his canoe and he jiggled it and nothing happened. He jiggled it again and again and again and nothing was happening. He was so hungry. And then he heard this little psst, whoosh, psst, Nana Bush, Nana Bush, Nana Bush, Nana Bush, over here, over here. Oh, hello, my little brother. Hello. Um, uh, Nan Nana Bush, if you want some, some fish or some way over there by the rocks. Oh, thank you, my little brother. Thank you so much. So Nana Bush quickly paddled over to the rocks. He took out his fishing line again, put it over the side of his canoe, and he jiggled like that, and he caught a fish just like that. And he did it again and again until he caught five fish. He didn't want to get six, seven, or eight because he knew he couldn't eat that many, and we don't believe in taking more than you can eat. So he quickly paddled to shore, made a fire, cooked his fish, he made his bannock, had his tea, and oh, he just felt so good now. Oh, hmm. And then he thought, wait, I, I would like to do something for my little brother. So Nana Bush walked along by the side of the shore. He walked along and he walked along until he found what he wanted, a nice round rock. He picked it up and he cleaned it all off. <laughs> and with his magic, he painted it a beautiful green. He said, come here, my little brother, come here. Went over and he said, yeah, yes, 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 Nana Bush. He said, I want you to bend over, please. So the little turtle bent over and Nana Bush took that rock and placed it on his back. And what he did, it changed. It changed into a shell. He said, now my little brother, when the animals come for you, this is what you do. There, you just tuck in your legs. Make sure you tuck in your tail. Never forget your tail. You have to tuck all your legs in now. Everything, come on. I said everything has to get tucked in, okay? All right, all right, okay. There, everything has to go in. There you go. There. And now you will always have protection from your enemies. Thomas, 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 come on out, Thomas. It's okay, come on out. It's all right. Everybody's okay. Come on out. Don't be shy. Come on. That's it. Come on out. Oh, see? Oh, there. See, I told you, I told you, it's okay, it's quite all right. There. Are you a little tired today, Thomas? Oh, did you stay up late? Oh, would you like to go back in? All right, say goodbye. All right, all right, see you later. All right. There. And they say that is how the turtle got his shell. <laughs>